back you lovely lot and a big warm welcome to anybody new joining our channel today can i just say a big thank you to all my regular subscribers who pop back week in week out and if you are new visiting us today then please consider subscribing we like to have a little nail play every sunday at eight o'clock you K time now if there is any extra videos going up if I do manage to get in another extra play don't forget to click that notification bell so you can be notified of any new uploads that I might put up between any other day of the week really it can be any time I do like to put more than one but I can't guarantee it so therefore I do say that I will upload every Sunday at eight o'clock because that I will break my back to do now guys those of you that watched last week's video you will know that i made a massive blunder and this week i'm here to rectify that now as promised i said i would go into detail and do those roses for you which i am going to do we are going to be using not polished acrylics today we've gone for some lovely purple so the first purple we've come in with today is mamacita which is the deepest purple near the cuticle area on this little finger and then we have i think it's love machine which is the lighter purple of the two at the top near the cuticle area now i'm not bothered about that blend because we are going to come in with a glitter fade so i've come in with a pre-mixed fine glitter acrylic from not polished called purple kisses pre-mixed glitter acrylic means that the fine purple glitter is already mixed in with clear acrylic so all i need to do is pick it up in exactly the same way as i do any other of the acrylic we'll be using today then what i've done is i've put a little wash of that over that nail and then using clear acrylic with my brush i've dipped it into the clear acrylic and then popped it into um the raw glitters that i've got today so the raw glitters there's three that i'm using um this is sugar plum that i've put down it is beautiful glitter and then i'm going over with a really light lilac i can't remember what that one's called but like I said, everything will be listed below for you. So I'm going to leave that to set up. And then I'm going to come on to the ring finger. So I'm going to do a sort of colour block here. Okay. And I'm coming in with Love Cruise, which is a darker... It's a medium purple. It, it's very much like Mama Seat. I didn't realise just how similar they are actually in colour. Um, but I'm going to do like a colour block. So I'm going to go a third of the way up and then I'm not going to do a sharp colour block. So I'm not going to cut it with a knife or file it into shape because I am going to be using some striping tape later. Um, but I am going to put it roughly where I want it and then square it off with my brush using my brush, keeping those sides in. So pressing that in there, just making sure that's nice and neat. Leave that to set up and then I can go on to the middle finger. So here I am going to do a fade and this is going to have another nail art design on it. Um, I'm going to be using some caviar beads today. I looked through my collection, I was whizzing through the drawers and um, I was going to put some purple gems on. And I just thought I want to do something a bit different than just popping gems on, on the nail. So I decided um, when I was looking through my I've got like a set of um, small drawers on top of my cabinet and uh, I leave, put my stones in there and any little bits like the Fimo slicers or some uh, flowers or anything like that that I can pop into the nails um, the gem type things and I noticed I've got these three lots of caviar beads and one was like a beautiful like lilac crystal lilac so I thought, yes, that's what I'm going to use. So that's what I'm going to put on this nail. So I put down Love Cruise. Uh, no, Mamacita. It was Mamacita at the cuticle area. And then I fade that up. And then I'm going to come down with um, Love Machine from Not Polish. And fade those into each other. Get a nice blend going there, which these just blend so beautifully. You saw that there. And then I'm going to flick back to the ring finger and put the second of the three colours on. 
I'm going to come in with that um, milky white, is it, from Not Polish? I think that's what it's called. Like I said, all the names and the numbers are listed below. And I'm going to pop that exactly the same way that I did the first colour. I'm just going to pop it on, square it off, make sure it's pushed right up to that line. And then square it off with my brush to get a nice line on which to put my final colour when that's set up a little bit more. This is me, you can see me, I'm pushing it right up, right up to that secondary colour. I'm making sure that the side walls are in. You see me do this time and time again. I am a bit of a faffer. You guys know this, uh, but it's just because I don't like filing. <laughs> I really don't. And we're going to go over to the pointer finger, guys, and we're going to put down Love Machine here. And we're going to pop it around that cuticle area nice and neat. Make sure we've got a nice opaque colour there before blending the rest of that up and then I'm going to dip like I did on the little finger I'm going to pop my brush into some clear acrylic and dip it in the three raw glitters and pop those on the cuticle area fading up and then what I'm going to do is come in with the pre-mixed fine glitter acrylic which is purple kisses and I'm going to put that quite finely so that if this was real hand, you'd be able to actually see through to be a bit like a glittery clear tip. So that's what I'm going for here. So I'm going to mix that pre-mixed fine glitter acrylic in with the glitter we've already got down and then fade that up, covering the whole of the tip. But I'm going to do it sparingly. And then what I'm going to do is finish this set of nails by popping it on the final third of the ring finger. Then guys, I will clear cap all of these nails, file and buff them into shape and then it's time for the nail art. So the first thing I'm going to do is put down a matte top coat onto the ring finger and then I'm going to pop on some striping tape. Then I will clip that off so that it's just a smidge short of the edge of the nail so that when I come to top coat, coat it later it will actually be encapsulated in that um, top coat the reason I've put the mat on first is that we are going to need that in order to do the um, rose design on that white acrylic but first of all what I'm going to do is come over and I'm going to top coat this middle finger then I'm going to come on with the gems and I'm going to place them round about where I want them and then right before I put the cavi beads on I'm going to nudge them right exactly where I want them so I know I want the bigger ones where it's wider at the base of the nail and as it comes thinner in that ballerina shape I'll put the smaller ones at the top so like I said I wanted to place them strategically according to the width of the nail I didn't want anything bulging protruding or being too big so I pop them on and I'm going to completely cover this nail with caviar beads once I've got those stones exactly where I want them. So I'll take that hand off, I will pop it over a tray to catch any that fall off. And what I'll do is sprinkle them very gently all over that wet top coat. Then I will pop it into the lamp once I've made sure that the edges are nice and neat. So I'm going to press that into that top coat there. Now, if this was a real person, this is what I would do so that they don't knock or nudge any of those caviar beads off. And then I will double cure that in the lamp before coming in with the nail art. So this is what you've been waiting for, guys. This is the roses. So on the white section of this nail, I'm going to start with a like a number six or a inverted comma. So I'm going to put like a little round dot and I'm going to swirl that lift in my brush so it goes into a finer line. I'm using a small detailer brush. All the links to my art brushes that I use are down below, guys, so go check that out, please. I get lots of questions about the art brushes that I do use, so the links are below for all of you to check out. So what I will do is I will come round each of that and I will start with one and then on the next layer I do two 
and on the one after that I do three. Now I'm not going to do massive big roses in this because I've got a really small area to work from and I want to put about three roses on here and then just fill in the details with little leaves. So that's what you can see me doing. So this is all in real time guys today, everything that I've done. This is how slow I work. And as you can see I anchor down my while I'm doing the nail art, I anchor down with my little finger. I will put that on another finger so that my hand doesn't shake. Because <laughs> I do shake. There we go. So I just switch that round. Really, really gentle. Really, really light touches. I don't want big fat leaves or anything like that. I want it to be really delicate. So this is how you can see me working here. I'm turning the nail slightly round so I can get just around that C curve on this nail. I'll do the same when I'm working the other way. Now it's all still wet. I haven't at this stage cured the roses that I've popped down on this band of white acrylic. And I'm picking up really small teeny tiny amounts on the tip of that brush. It's not going to go very far because there's not a lot of bristles in the brush. It's a really fine, tiny detailer brush there, but that's what I need. Because I'm working in such a small area. And then what I'll do is I'll go around the roses and any that I think the leaves need to be extended a bit or fill in a little bit of a gap. That This is what I'll do after I've placed the three roses on this area so I really do hope you understand what I'm saying I am not a teacher not by any stretch of the imagination so sometimes I do find it quite difficult to explain what I'm doing but hopefully you guys are visual as well and you can tell by what I'm saying when I say leaves I mean the petals guys the petals of the roses um, and how I curve it around. So I start in the middle with one and then on the next layer going, working my way out, I do two. And then I do it like a brickwork. So I would cover the gap with my next petal on one side and then on the opposite side where there's another gap, I'll do another and then extend them and then squeeze another one in there. So once I'm happy with all of my placement of my uh, art gel, I've just painted those roses with I will then come back with snow white because this will like then stand out from the milky white of the acrylic um, so it's snow white acrylic from CJP it's a stark white I will sugar that and double um, cure that in the lamp then guys it's time to top coat the other nail so I will go around that striping tape and onto the purple avoiding what we've just done that needs to stay matte with the shiny top coat i will pop that in the lamp for a cure then guys we are at the end of our nail play today yay we got there eventually it took us a while but we got there eventually guys i really do hope you've enjoyed our little nail play today if you have would you hit that thumbs up and if you're not subscribed already i would absolutely love it if you would thank you for joining me please stay safe and until next time Bye.